Thank you very much, Dr. Bermenthal, for your very generous introduction. I'm really honored to join you this evening in this impressive monument to memory and to vision. If there had been widespread knowledge about the gas chambers, would the Holocaust have been tolerated? Thanks to the work of human rights agencies and modern communications, public opinion is now a force to reckon with. Early warning and timely analysis are vital. In the case of Rwanda, most people were killed before the word genocide was used. Let us not miss opportunities for preventing the worst crimes. Rwanda was, I think, a missed opportunity, as UN groups were already in the country and could have quickly been reinforced. Bosnia is perhaps a more difficult case. Could the international community have prevented the debacle had it intervened in late 1991 when Yugoslav forces destroyed the city of Vukovar? We need a strong United Nations hum human rights machinery to prevent, but also expose violations of human rights. We also need the International Criminal Court the potential Pol Pots of this world, yes, the planners and not just the perpetrators, must be deterred by the prospect of criminal justice. And is it fair and realistic to expect the survivors to forgive and to cooperate if there is no justice? In the absence of justice, private revenge may prevail, which will spread fear and undermine the possibility for reconciliation. <laughs>